welcome back to my channel. I'm here to review a bag today. It feels like a long, long time since I've done one of these bag review videos. Um, it's, I think, mainly because I've been using the same ones, um, so I don't really have anything to update. Um, I'm actually using my Saint Laurent shopping tote, but there's really no review. It's, it's just a big tote. I mean, I, I guess I could give an update if that's or how I like it in comparison to other totes, maybe. But um, anyway, today's video is on a Bulgari bag that I purchased. It's actually my first Bulgari bag, and it is um, the um, it's it's kind of one that I've been looking for for a while, and I'm really glad I found it, and I, I really like it. I have tried it on in store one other time, and um, I remember really liking it, and have been like on the hunt for it, like just doing research. You know, I don't like to impulse buy something very very expensive. And um, I, there are so many options, like design, the type of leather, the, the color. So it's it was really hard to kind of like come down to a certain color, although all of them are really pretty. So I don't even think that like you can really go wrong. Um, so let me just show you the one that I have today. This one is the metallic blue. So depending on how you, you know, hold it in the light, you can, it looks darker or lighter. Um, so it's very, very different. This one is it's, it's, it's called metallic, but you can see that it's kind of gotten that got that patent material. Um, yeah, so there's nothing really, really special about it. The, the, the brand is right here. Um, besides this uh, big snake head, and that's kind of like their symbol for this bag, the serpenti. Um, but other than that, there's no like slip pockets, no anything. It's very sleek, very, you know, um, streamlined, I guess. Um, there's a lot of cool details. Like, you see how like each one of these are like a raised piece of leather. I don't know if you can see. So a lot of detail has gone into here. The top of the bag looks like this. The chain comes out of these two um, kind of rivet-like things. And on the, on the actual... Um, I don't know if the light's gonna show this, but it says Bulgari around that. And the chain itself is very substantial, it's very heavy, and it looks very um, snake-like, as you can see. Um, very, very pretty. Oops, sorry, that's my phone. <laughs> very pretty. Um, yeah, so it extends out like this. This is the longest this chain goes. And I'll try to insert a photo of me wearing it so that you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, and also to see it in um, actual like outside lighting rather than my inside lights here. Um, the, the chain is not removable so you do have to use it with unless you tuck it in and use it as a clutch. I found it too big to be a clutch because if I did this it looks a little big. But I mean I could make it work if I had to. And before I forget, it did come with in this dust bag. So um, I know sometimes people ask, like, did it, did it come with a dust bag? And yes, it does. Oh, and this is the bo this this is the box that came in. So just in case you were wondering. Um, okay, so let's kind of go inside the inside of this bag. Um, what happens is this clasp right here. You just pull on the snake head like that, and it opens see that and then on the inside again it has the Bulgari brand right there and when you want to close it you just press and it closes so yeah it's a pretty strong clasp so that like it doesn't just open on its own and then um, you just press to close and it doesn't like you won't accidentally open it like you actually have to like want to open it in order for this to open so okay um, I also want to point out that the bot at the, at the um, end of this uh, what do you call this closure is a um, kind of like a plastic bit and that helps prevent scratching this area so it's not metal on metal scratching if there's a plastic bit so that's what it looks like on the inside of this bag um, I don't know if you can see but it's also the same uh, material that is on the outside of the bag and this this um, has Bulgari written on it on this side as well and this is the the side where this chain comes in and if the chain comes in you can see it looks like the snake um, scales and it's at the end is this little knob and this is what gets stuck right there and it just holds it in place all right so um currently i have stuffed it with paper but without paper you can see 
or maybe you can see it's kind of hard because it's like it's got this um purple satin material lining um so maybe like in the lighting you can kind of see it there's only one slip pocket right now the slip pocket um holds a mirror let me just bring that out so this is the mirror and um that's all it holds um don't think you can fit too much in there i tried putting a card a card thing in there but it's really tiny so there's not much you can do so that's just one compartment so i can kind of show you what i can fit in here um so i don't fit a full-size wallet although my chanel um small wallet did fit in here um it fit in here with room to spare for um i think a chapstick um what else I think there was like one other thing that I put in there. So it's not it's not that small, but again, it's, it's not big enough to put like my um, Emily wallet, my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet in there. So what I normally would put is like a card case. Oops, a card case. This one I happen to have is by, by Coach. Um, this one is nice because it has a slip pocket on the back. But then if you pop this open, there are two card slots here and then a third one right here that's um, much bigger. Um, and it's all leather, so it's kind of very generic card case and that could fit in here very easily um like that actually i hope you can see it because <laughs> and then i have my samsung galaxy s6 which actually my new phone i got the pixel 2 just came in so I'm, i might switch it out real soon but for now um this can go in here um So if I stand it up with the case, I can still close it. You can kind of see it right there. Um, but I, I've generally been putting it sideways just because I think it's um, it would fit better. So there it is. And then um, let's see what else I put in there. Um, Sorry, I have my uh, charger. This is the Kate Spade one that I've always, always used, and that fits in here very easily. And then a pack of gum, if I want it to, also can fit in here. And then what else can I put in here? I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, oh, chapstick. So. I have my Clarence chapstick and that just pop that in here really quickly too. I'll show you all at the end and then my EOS. All right. So that's what it looks like um, with stuff in it. You can probably see it better actually. So the EOS lip balm's there, the charger's here, my um, gum is there. The phone is right there, card case is right there. Um, and I can probably even plop something else right on top. I have been able to fit my sunglasses in here, but not with the case. So that's the only thing. And with all that stuff in here, um, you can see that it's not really like causing too much strain on the bag. So it looks fine. Yep. Um, it, it is a little heavy in comparison to other bags of this size and it doesn't fit as much as other bags of this size um and i think it's because it's really rigid like this bag is like you can see if i just held it 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 would hold its shape no matter what whether it's filled or not um it is heavy also because of the chain now the chain itself isn't like um extremely thick but it is of substantial material so that I think um like it does add to the weight like if this was gone it would be a little lighter regardless because there are so many like layers of leather and like you know like just jewels and gems um it is a hefty bag it, it's got the corners are sharp like you know it's 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 definitely meant to be it's to hold its shape um i think that's what makes me really like it because i don't have very much um any bag that is very similar to this i'm just trying to put things back so that um 
you can see the that the shape holds even without anything in it um so yeah everything's gone if i try to squeeze it you can see it compresses but it doesn't really stay compressed it just kind of bounces back to its original um amount uh shape um and yeah so it just it just looks really nice i think it looks very very stunning and like um i bought it mainly to use as an evening bag and for the holidays because like it looks like a jewel piece you know um and for the holidays because you generally don't need to bring as much stuff i am a little upset i can't fit my sunglass case in here but um if it's a night event you i generally don't need it anyway um but yeah like this just looks so good i don't have anything like it and i am just I, i've been loving it i thought like i said for what i per bought it for was for the holidays or nighttime or like fancy wear i actually wore it um all weekend and like a couple weekdays this bag and yeah it cannot fit as much as like some of my other bags totes for example but it can fit my essentials so that i could go days without needing to switch it out with something else now during the day when i do need my sunglasses that does become an issue because then i cannot fit my sunglasses um or I'd have to like plop them in here and like be really careful not to like squish it by accident um, or just keep it on my face. Um, but other than that, I, I mean, it, it's very, very nice. It's, it dresses up your outfit extremely a lot, um, as you can imagine, um, but in a good way, like not like overdone, you know? I, I think, I think I'd, okay, actually I take that back. I don't know if I would wear this bag <laughs> with like shorts. <laughs> I wore dresses, I can wear with skirts, but shorts, like denim shorts, I don't know, I don't know about that. I also probably wouldn't wear it with like sneakers, I don't know. So yeah, I guess I guess there is like a little bit of like a, um, sorry, a little bit of like outfit pairing that you need to do, but I've made it work with jeans, I've made it work with t-shirts, um, but yeah, I wouldn't wear, I wouldn't wear a windbreaker with it or something, I don't know, I don't know why I would even, anyway, Point being is that it'll dress up a lot of the outfits that you wear casually, but not every outfit would go with it. Um, but it is a very stunning bag, and I think it would go with a lot of my nighttime outfit outfits, um, even if it has a little bit of color, because I think, you know, it's just jeweled colors. Um, so I think it's really pretty. Um, I'll try to leave the description um, of this item, like the sizing and everything, in, um, in the description bar below um and yeah i think if you've oh i should mention so i got this in the patent leather it also comes in like lambs or i think lambskin and um calf skin but because the corners are so sharp on here um i i found it that i a lot of the resale sites that i've seen have wear on the corners like immediately first thing as i can imagine like because it just you know if you put it down that's what like that's what hits if you hit something that's also what hits it brushes against you um i've noticed like lighter colors could have color transfer um this one hasn't had any issues so far and the fact that it's dark also helps with that um but because it's patent it also prevents like the easy the scratches that could come from it and i, I feel like it, it also protects the um, corners a little bit more the glazing is flawless though so i feel like that will also help the longevity of this item and um i haven't worn it in the rain I, I never will plan to but if there's any sprinkles you can easily like just wipe it off and that's fine speaking of which actually this bag did come with a raincoat so i i don't know if you know but like um it comes this one comes with a raincoat and another bag i think it's the peekaboo the fendi peekaboo also comes with it with its raincoat so it's nothing like super super special but it opens up like this and um <laughs> you can uh put your bag in here like slip it in through here at the bottom and then like close it and then the, the two straps come out here and it becomes like this I mean, I think it looks a little tacky, honestly. I don't know if I'll, I would bring it out to use. If I know it's going to rain, chances are I'll just not wear the bag that day. Um, but uh, if it's light drizzle, you know, a little sprinkle, I can generally protect it under my arm and then, like, that should be good enough. I don't, I don't think I need to resort to this. Also, I don't think the bag has enough space to hold this every day um, just because, you know, 
from what you've seen, you know that the bag itself is actually quite um, um, small. Um, so, you know, it's definitely not going to hold a lot of the stuff that you would want. Excuse me. That was my sister. Anyway, so um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. Um, otherwise, um, hopefully this was helpful to anybody looking for a bag or interested in this one. And you know, oh, did I mention this is a small size, but it also comes with like a, a medium size. It also comes with like, like a clutch. It comes with things that have top handles. It even comes with like a wallet um, wristlet. So there, it, there are many, many options if this one isn't the right size for you. Um, but this one just works really well on me. I'm 5'1", so um, I think it just works out really well on the shoulder and crossbody. So that's why I went ahead and got this one. But yeah, if you have any further questions I have not mentioned here, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.